press that damn button. Press, press the button. What are you looking at? All right, dudes, do that. So check it out. We're going to try this last time here. Uh, actually, not last. Well, maybe last time. Who knows? Who knows? I think we just titled it a little bit off, so nobody knows what the hell we're talking about with old man tails. It's a great idea. A lot of everybody had positive. Oh, oh, we're ruining it already. All right. Yeah. Off to a good start. That's what I'm talking about. It's just uh, two guys that have no idea what's going on. Just trying to live day by day. You know what I'm saying? So we had the old man tales. Everybody liked it. Everybody that watched it. But I think a lot of people didn't watch it just because of the title itself. So this title is going to be a little bit different and the title is going to be based off a comment that I got that gave me the idea for this story. So we're, it's still Old Man Tales 2. We're just not titling it that way. So uh, in a nutshell, and this is good because Brian hasn't heard this story yet. You want to tell me. No, I didn't want to tell I tried to get it out of it. I wanted it to be natural. I wanted it to come out natural. He's been asking me for three days about this damn story. Now he finally gets to hear the story. So somebody on my shit had asked me if I had any paranormal experiences. Now, to not to dive into a separate genre or anything like that, because obviously this uh, whole channel is built off of wildlife and things that we do with wildlife That's and that whole nine yards. Yes. 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 <laughs> it's everybody. Well, <laughs> no, it's not an alligator ghost, no ghosts or anything like that. But I saw the comment and I felt like, you know what, dude, there, I have this one the story and it's hilarious bro it's hilarious so it's hard not to share now i do have friends of mine uh troy lily and those guys uh you got troy joe Brittany, uh flavio all those guys out there jimmy riffle and the guy from gator boys or whatever uh they, we do a podcast every now and again i hop on his podcast it's uh the molly croc show it's on tuesdays and they do a lot of paranormal activity type shit where they go and investigate and all that nonsense troy's sister actually works for a production company that does a lot of that she just did a film uh not a film but like a tv show with demi lovato about know you don't know who that is no. So Demi Lovato, she was on a thing with Demi Lovato doing the whole paranormal thing. So it kind of fits in with like my, my group of friends and whatnot. But I myself have never had any paranormal experiences. So every time I'm asked to go somewhere to do anything paranormal, I laugh. I'm 100% a skeptic. I know a lot of people believe. A lot of people don't believe. For me, I need proof of everything. I need to see things with my own two eyes. I need to feel things for myself to be able to understand and, and, and kind of wrap my head around what the hell is going on. I actually had a few. So this guy's had a few. And so, the at the time. And look, kid. at the end of the day, no harm, no foul, dude. Like this isn't to twist uh, any viewership from one side to the other or say that we believe or you believe or whatever it is. Everybody's cool with whatever beliefs. We don't care. We love all you guys just the way that you are. Now this story is kind of like a paranormal thing and it kind of tinged in my brain when the person asked, have you ever had any paranormal stories or anything like that? <laughs> I have a twin brother, ladies and gentlemen. So I have a, a larger family. I have two brothers and I have a sister. We have nine kids between us. Um, and then I have my mother and my father. So we're a very close family. Now growing up, my older brother and my older sister, I think my brothers got me by eight years. No, my sister has me by eight years. I think my brother has me by six. I don't know. I don't know everybody's age. I don't pay attention to that shit. But regardless, when we lived in the house, my brother and I had to sleep in the same room. Now, Brian knows other stories about my brother and I sleeping in the same room. And get your f***ing minds out of the gutter so we don't do that shit. But uh, about my brother's sleeping habits... He's heard about those before, and we'll get into that shit later on. If you guys can even guess what the f that was, then kudos for you. But I doubt very seriously you'll ever be able to guess what the f that just was. But it's something that my brother uh, did and has done for a long time to put himself to sleep. So everybody had their I things really as hope kids. One day we go on a trip. Oh, and we he will. Comes. Just so you can see it's the just rock. Just so I can hear it. Just the rock. Because I don't know if it's like that extent. It's to that extent, bro. Okay. So everybody, especially babies, kids, things like that, they have a way to soothe themselves to sleep. Even our primates soothe themselves to sleep. They'll suck their thumb, a rock, whatever the case may be, back and forth the whole okay, nine okay, yards, okay. right? Okay, get to the story. All right, this is part of the story. This is part of the story. I'm setting it up, setting it up, right? So everybody's got something to soothe themselves to sleep. And my brother and I, sleeping in the same room, we had two twin beds separated by a nightstand with a radio on it, and we would listen to classic rock at night at a low volume. 
to kind of go to sleep, right? And this was like a common thing. Now there's a couple of different ways I could pull this story because there was one time that me and him were in an argument over this radio because sometimes he wanted to listen to it and sometimes he didn't. I always wanted it on. And then one time he shut it off and I shot him with a BB gun, point blank range. He still has that BB in his arm. So we could talk about that one later on. Uh, go ahead and comment below if you want to hear that story. So in a nutshell, we have this radio in between us, right? And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Stigmata. If you haven't seen Stigmata, go on YouTube, stop watching this for a second, go on YouTube, search Stigmata and search the preview, just the preview and watch the preview of that. So this is the time frame when Stigmata came out. Did you, you ever see Stigmata? I've never seen Stigmata. Damn it, it's so hard to tell this guy's stories. He lives under a rock. So Stigmata, if anybody doesn't know, was the whole thing with uh, the way Jesus was on the cross and this whole nine yards or whatever. It was a scary movie that was coming out at the time, right? So we're in the middle of the night, we're sleeping, and the radio's on. Okay. Now my brother recounts the events much differently than I do that night. So that night, I would say it's probably about three o'clock in the morning, right? And I wake you up. You know, that's when they say most of this stuff happens, is at three o'clock? That's why I'm bringing that up, oh, right? Okay. So right. three o'clock, right? It's the it's supposed to be, what do they call it? The witching hour, the witching or whatever or the hell, like and all that, that nonsense. Yeah. And uh, it's supposed to be like the most activity or whatever, the, mm -hmm. but I, I don't there's a meaning behind it, right? So, is this where we turn for Chick-fil-A? No, no, we go. Yeah, I'm starving, so we're going to Chick-fil-A. All right, so what happened was, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, right? And uh, I wake up to a blood-curling scream, bro. I'm talking about, like, dude, the loudest scream that you could possibly imagine. Like, if somebody was breaking into our window. How old were you? Probably, I'm gonna say we were maybe seven, eight years old. Okay, so mom, maybe so 10. mom and dad were like in the house. Yeah, mom, dad in the house. My brother, my older brother and sister had moved out by this time. So, so we were probably about 10 then. Okay. We were probably like nine or 10 because my bro older brother and older sister had already been out of the house. There so already. nobody in the house was screaming? No. Oh yeah, you know, there was a person screaming. Yeah, it was my brother. Yeah, so that's what I woke <laughs> up to, okay? So I woke up to a blood curdling screaming as if somebody was chasing us down. Somebody was breaking through my window about to stab you with a soldering iron or something like fucking dude. <laughs> it was like the most terrifying sound I ever heard. So I wake up to that shit and I look over at my brother and he's fucking full on rage screaming, right? right? And at the same time, he's looking at me. I'm looking at him like, what the going on and this mother, dude, he hits it, bro. And when I'm talking about hits it, I'm talking about he runs the covers and then just out the room. Here's the best part. Yeah. So I am terrified at this point. I have no idea what's going on. I, I just woke up from a dead sleep to my brother screaming his fucking brains out, <laughs> right? And I'm fucking terrified at this point, dude. I'm just a kid. I have no idea what's going on. I have so much to live for at this point and I just want to get the fuck out of this room because I have no idea what the fuck he saw <laughs> to set him off, right? So he starts running, right? Here's the best part. He gets out of the door and I'm running right behind him and he slams the door on me. <laughs> he traps you. So I'm stuck. Inside the room. Inside the room with whatever, whatever the hell. Saw. Yes, whatever the hell was in that room, right? That he's running away from. He's now sacrificed his own brother. You were the meat shield. I was the meat shield, right? So he slams the door and then I'm trying to get out dude I got socks on right it's a yeah. weird thing about me and my brother we if you want to see us without socks on it has to be inside an alligator pit or at the beach that's the only time we don't wear socks obviously in the shower too everywhere else we wear socks and ladies yes if you're thinking that absolutely 100% we do have socks on me and my brother during that time so yes 100% all the time the same way. thank you very much I appreciate that honestly. all right there you go yeah. socks all the way I need to have socks so bro I get out the door finally, which took me a solid minute because it's pitch black and I'm fighting for the doorknob, right? Fighting for this doorknob and yeah. I'm terrified because something's in the room with me. And I don't know what's going on. Holding it. No, he's not holding it shut. Uh, I'm just fumbling for the door because I'm literally about to die. Okay. Like in my mind, something's in the room with us. Somebody's already made it in the room and I'm the sacrificial lamb here at this point. So I'm fumbling for this doorknob <laughs> and I finally swing the door open, right? I get the door open and I hit and right outside our, our room was carpet right in the hallway, straight tile. So I hit this tile, bro, and it was like a cartoon. My feet were moving so damn fast that I couldn't get any traction. I was moving nowhere, which was making matters worse because now I can't Wait, see my brother. Scooby-Dooing it? 
I'm scuba doing the <laughs> shit out of this, bro. I clean the f out of those floors. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so I'm f***ing gunning, bro. I'm running and gunning, bro. As fast as I possibly can move those feet, dude, and I'm moving nowhere. It took a solid couple of seconds before I got traction enough to get the hell out of the damn hallway, right? So our rooms are at the other side of the house as my parents' rooms. My brother's still screaming. I can still hear the screaming, right? So I'm still gunning it because I don't know what the is behind me, bro. So I'm hauling ass, bro. And I finally make it. And my dad and mom had heard us at this point. So of course my dad's rushing over to kill somebody at this point. And my brother's already in his arms. And then I run over there. We're both crying hysterically. Yeah, that's right. We were crying. And what? Uh, whatever. I don't care. You guys make fun of me all you want. I was a big bitch that day. That's right. I was 10 years old and something was trying to kill me. I was terrified so in a nutshell my dad grabs us both and he's like what's going on and i'm looking at my brother and i'm like what the f is going on and my dad's sitting there trying to talk to us and i'm like I don't, dad i don't know bro i don't know i'm looking at my dad i'm terrified he's looking at me he's like what's going on what's going on i can't answer that question i have no idea what's going on i don't know what we're running from at this point i have no solid idea so i'm looking at my brother with my big old eyes i'm like what the f man what's going on and my brother's looking at me and he's terrified, right? He's terrified. And he's like crying and sobbing. It took like a couple of minutes of crying and daddy and mommy's arms before we like calm down, right? We're still kids, right? So there was this like chill out part, right? My dad had obviously, my mom took us, my dad obviously went straight to my room to find out what the was going on just in case there was somebody right. trying to break in right. and so my pops runs back there my mom stays with us my dad comes back he's like what's what's man he's like there's nothing there's nothing going on dude what what the are you doing now my dad immediately goes to anger mode because usually what's happening is me and my brother being twins we spend 24 hours a day with each, like with each other all the time right we i don't pranking know about other, other no not necessarily pranking one another what it was was i don't know about any other twins out there twins have a different relationship than other family members i have an older brother and an older sister we have phenomenal relationships i love them both to death they love us to death same relationship but with the twins there's just some extra connection it's just this weird thing because of the time that you spend you're the same age you got the same dna you're pretty much the same we have the same friends we do the same shit we hung out literally day in day out slept in the same room until we were 13 14 years old or whatever and uh we even dated sisters at one point like that's yeah we did everything together really? so yeah so uh at, at that point like you're around somebody so much like you're gonna fight and me and my brother when i say fight we like the neighborhood knew what was going on it would be like get the popcorn out mm. the boys are going at it and i'm talking about broken bones broken jaws missing teeth broken noses the whole nine yards complete knockouts like we were ufcing in the house constantly so it used to piss my parents off. Now, the only thing is, and I'm sure twins know this shit, that we could fight, right? And like at one time, like I had broke my brother's jaw, just hit him perfectly or whatever. And it's not like I meant to, but it happened. And then 10 minutes after he got back from the hospital, we're joking at the table with all our friends. Like we had it like that, where we would fight and it would be like an epic all out brawl. And then five minutes later, we'd be hanging out. Like that's just how it was. We would scrap it out and we would be 100% fine afterwards. So my dad comes up to me, right? He's pissed at me at this point. Mm -hmm. Like I did something wrong and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I was like, I didn't fucking do anything this time. <laughs> this is all your boy over here. He started this shit. Come to find out, dudes. So my brother starts telling the story. He's like, I woke up and I looked over and I, I, I swear on anything that is good and holy in this world, bro. This is exactly what my brother said. He said, I looked over and you were sitting up on your bed and you had bright red eyes and some demonic voice, right? So I'm speaking in a de demonic voice, right? And you can imagine the things uh, that you would think. That's probably why he locked you in. Dude, he thought I was the <laughs> thing. I was the thing. I was the problem, right? And I didn't know this because I'm passed out. So yeah. Stigmata was coming out at the time. It was probably the commercial that came on. This is what we deduced. It was probably the Stigmata commercial with like the demonic voice and shit yeah. like that. He woke up to that, looks at me, I shit you not, Brian, this fool looks at me, bro, and he says, yeah, he's like, when I looked at you, you had, like, these big, bright red eyes, and you were speaking in this, like, demonic voice, and you turned to me, and you said, I shit you not, this is the greatest line ever, he said, I have more Pokemon cards than you. I'm not 
You're making this up, dude. I'm not making this up, bro. You could talk to my brother, my mother, my bro uh, my other brother, my sister. I shit you not. That's what the demonic voice said to my brother. I have more Pokemon cards than you. And this f***ing dude lost his shit to the point where he had to bail out. And then because I'm running behind him, he still sees me with these red eyes and shit. He thinks I'm coming to kill him. Mind you, I think somebody's coming to kill us, bro. So I'm feeling like my brother just sacrificed me fucking as the meat slave. Like, fuck it, there's two of us, bro. There's gonna be a lit. We still got the same DNA floating around. What's one less, bro? So he slams me in the door. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is about the Have extent. Have you ever messed with him? Have you just brought a stack of Pokemon cards? <laughs> I mean, there was plenty of jokes after that because my stepbrothers, uh, which is a whole ass other story there, uh, have been, and they've been around for quite some time or whatever. So we, we, we basically made jokes at his disposal for fucking months, <laughs> bro. Months. And now here we are, 30 uh, years later, still, still making jokes about the shit. I would. I would never let that go. So that's about the extent of my paranormal experiences. I've never experienced anything else paranormal. Um, I, like I said, I'm a skeptic in this shit. Uh, I am a believer that my brother uh, tried to kill me that night. I'm a believer of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm a believer that he's oh, a biggity bitch. <laughs> And uh, I'm also a believer that if I'm gonna just straight up say, if I wake up and I turn over and you have a Wait, demon I'm sorry, fast, hold and on, you I'm sorry, say, hold on, hold on, one moment. When he said, I have more Pokemon cards than you, I he I right? supposedly said that, right? I okay, oh, right, right, that, right, right, right. But then, what did your dad say? Oh, my dad f yeah. is losing his mind. And He's now, like, are you serious? This is a prank. No, now, is... now it's just hilarious uh. to my dad because we were set, like, do we were ghost white, bro? Because if white. your and dad's pissed not... off completely, and then those came out of his mouth, he would probably be pissed, right? No, he was dying laughing at that <laughs> point. At that point, it switched. My dad was pissed at first because he thought I was fucking with my brother, as I often did. Yeah. Only this time, it was just this <laughs> weird freak event that happened. So we didn't sleep in my room for a week after that, bro. <laughs> so it's not like the fear just went away. Way. I like think that you had night, to just watch that commercial. Stop watching like it was. Uh, we like it, the thing was is just it was so terrifying in the moment, regardless of like how funny it was. As kids in that moment, we would not go back in that room, and we did not go back in that room for about a week and a half to two weeks. Like we stayed on the couch watching TV and shit. And my parents never let us do that, and they was most one hundred percent certainly let us do that before. And now we're pulling up to the Chick-fil-A line, so let us know how you feel about that story, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Later. Give us a surprise. We're gonna edit, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly why I wanted to keep the surprise. I'm gonna edit yeah. this part into it too, because we pulled up to the Chick-fil-A though. But like, if it was me, bro, like this was my whole thing to my brother. Like, dude, you fucking look at me. Mind you, I know we're young, right? And you think you see like this devil thing sitting in front of you, but if, I mean, realistically, bro, if the words, I have more Pokemon cards than you, come out of anything's mouth sitting across the bed for me, I'm going back to fucking sleep, bro, <laughs> at that point. I don't care how terrified I am at that point. Like, you just ruined the whole shit for me, but that's legit. What he said came out of my mouth. I have more Pokemon cards than you in a devil voice with my red eyes, and then he tried to kill me. <sighs> so, now we'll end this property, or a property, bro, fucking God bless, bro properly ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoyed the story please do comment below if you guys want to hear the story of when i shot my brother with a bb gum comment below if you want to hear the story about when i broke my brother's jaw comment below if you want to hear the story about when my brother knocked me clean out by holding my hands between my legs and then lifting me up to my face hit the floor comment below we have plenty of these stories or if you guys want to hear wildlife related stories we can keep it that way too let us know boom